What's up guys, it's Bones. And today I'm gonna give you kind of a raw, kind of mostly uncut version of how I've been training Banksy to do recalls. So maybe this helps out with your guys' Dobermans. Um, this is just what I've had and learned and experienced over the last two years. Banksy, come. Let's do it. So we're out here today doing a little bit of exercise for me and Banksy. This is a just kind of good area where I've never brought here before but I've been here and it is a good spot where she can learn to be off leash. When you start training your Doberman to do off leash, um, I'm a big fan of e-collars. Not necessarily the fact that you have to use it, but the fact that if you have it on and if you need it, that in an emergency should arise, that it will be there for you. Um, that being said, you shouldn't just use e-collars if you don't know anything about them. I'm not trying to say that I'm an expert when it comes to any of this. It's just my experience, so I'm just letting you guys know where I stand with that. Now, when I do use an e-collar with her, I tend to only use the tone. And what that does is just it sends a beep out to her and she knows that she needs to come back towards me. That's what she understands from the tone. This video isn't necessarily about e-collar training, any of that. There's plenty of good videos out there. There's people who know how to do that. I'm just telling you that I have one on her if need be, right? I generally just, when I first started doing recalls with her, I did it so that I would just have to use the word come and she would come, come. just like that. So she comes to me. That's kind of a prime example. Uh, I love it if she can touch bases with me, touch my hand first before she goes back and does her thing. That's just kind of a good kind of a uh, space that I like to have it in. She's not perfect at this. Um, this place we're at is actually a very good spot for her to be because there's less distractions out here. You know, it's she gets very like if there was people around that would be no problem i could usually get her to come to me no problem the only thing that really kind of drives her over the top is if we had another dog nearby she gets very fixated on those dogs because she wants to go play see what they're doing for the most part i can use the word come and she'll come back like for instance banksy come comes by and checks in like I said she didn't touch my hand that time it is a, a work in progress but she generally gets the idea that she needs to come back to me you know when I tell her to do that um, like I said if another dog was around that's a little harder to drive that back you know because she, she just wants to go over and investigate um, what I did find out which is interesting right because every animal is different uh, my specific Doby she's very infatuated with the ball that drives her to want to pay attention to me even more when i have that around so if i have a ball that usually helps out and she will go for that any day um what i also found out too over the years of having her that you know like i said in a previous video she's very excited and wants to play with other dogs she's not mean to them by any nature she just wants to play hard with them and if i have a ball then she will definitely play with the ball and she'll play with the other dogs a lot nicer because they're doing something together. It's just like, that's all that matters to her is the ball. And I guess, I guess there could be worse things to have a problem with, but it's all about progression, not perfection. Like I've told you guys before. So being able to have a ball and use that as a, as a reward system helps out on a recall method. If your Doberman isn't necessarily the best at uh, recall, which I'm not saying mine is, is great, she's definitely good 
it could always have room for improvement but I started her out doing it in my backyard in kind of in a closed area and I did it as a reward based system so I gave her treats every time I used the word the command come she would come to me I'd she'd touch my hand I gave her a treat and I don't have a lot of time to sit there and reinforce this so like today is kind of a special day that we're out here actually doing this so if you guys have that like area like like your backyard or a, or a more pendant area to start out that's a nice way to do it and use you know a treat because they understand that when you say the word come that means they're getting rewarded with a treat next is like move on to a bigger area like where we're at today i mean this is a big area and she loves this type of stuff when she goes and stays and spends time with my parents that they have a big area like this so this is nothing new to her she's been around like this type of stuff all the time and she loves it and it's a great energy burn for her as well like when we go back to the house tonight she'll be just dead and just want to relax and chill out and that's awesome right out here there's really not too many distractions for her you know there is a walking path that goes back here where we do have some people walking from here and there and she'll notice them but if i give her the command she will come right over to me she will not go bother them if they had a dog like i said it might be a little bit more hard to drive home the hey come back here but this is a kind of good area you know like hopefully maybe you guys have some sort of area around like this you know if you don't have like you know your your backyard if that doesn't work hopefully you can find a nice like nature park trail that you can use would be good you know and for those of you that do live in kind of these colder climates and have a doberman you know how important it is to be able to go take advantage of those days that are very slim that you get uh this winter's been very fortunate us for us because we haven't had it too bad so being able to get her out here and go and play and burn some energy off is huge and good for me too because I can get out here and get some sunlight in because I need it just as much as she does. Banksy come. Good girl. So there was another prime example, right? of her coming to me you know it wasn't like immediately i'm dropping everything i'm doing and coming back here it was a i'll turn around but that's like i said this is where we work on the the progression of the recall um there's plenty of people out there that do it really really good and every dog's different and every situation's different but i think the biggest thing with that comes to dog recall is just being consistent whatever way you choose well, that about wraps this video up on recalls, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Like I said, I use kind of a hybrid role of being able to use my voice and tell her to come. Uh, otherwise, treats, ball, or e-collar, and just using the beep on the e-collar. Usually one of those methods, I will get her to come back. Uh, if you guys got any tips or tricks on recall and your Doberman and what your experiences are, let me know in the comments. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing.